So during the last two years, you may have probably heard of this game called Friday Night Funkin'. Whatever it was because of an ad popping up before your YouTube video, or recommended new ground fun animation, or your favorite content creator playing it, you most likely at least once saw this comically short character that looks like a ninja cosplayer pretending to rap battle by making onomatopoeia to prove his love and skills to his dear girlfriend. If not, no problem, here's a quick presentation of the game I was gonna do anyway. Friday Night Funking is a rhythm game published and created by Ninja Muffin 99 where you control an upcoming SoundCloud rapper named Boyfriend, such an original name due to how unoriginal it is, by pressing four arrow keys to make beeping noises in sync with the background music. The objective is basically to defeat your opponent, whereas there are a demon with pubes coming out of their pants, a cannibal that has a lemon for a head, a stereotype, or even new grown characters that make you go, oh cool, I know this character, holy shit. The main reason people were attracted to the game were pretty straightforward. It was simple, had some charming cartoonish animations, and the music was really good. In a way, you could sum up the game as being Asu or Tenten's Revolution, but with the story and animations going along the music. It worked because it was an original take on the rhythm game genre. Oh, and also it was a free game on Newgrange, so uh, yeah, being free is kind of a good selling point. Nothing seemed to be able to stop this game from growing. From receiving regular updates with more songs and opponents to fight against, YouTube influencers making videos on it on a weekly basis, mod creators and its week 7 updates that literally broke new ground for a day as well as creating a successful Kickstarter, nothing seemed to be able to stop this game from overtaking the gaming world. Until there actually was a problem. And this problem came in the form of that there was no more updates. Simple enough. That's it. That was the main issue. From weeks to months and oh sadly years. It's been now around one year and six months, I don't know how to count, since the last major update came out. This is one hell of an issue because this led the game to lose all the incredible momentum it had accumulated for months. The player base and general interest of people gradually shifted to other games, but there actually was a solution to that progressive lose of interest in the game. One temporary solution that ironically could also create another big problem for Dev Team in the future that could make releasing official updates a real nightmare. The solution is, of course, mods. The modding community of an FNF grew from a handful of mods where we could find like two or three super really well made opponents, a few banger mods remixing the main soundtrack of the game to now more than 3,000 mods to play. And by play, uh, for Sam I would prefer to use the term endure or suffer, that will be more appropriate, yeah. Friday Night Funking had turned into one of those games where the community had completely taken over the base game, to the point where now when most people, me included, think about FNF, the first thing popping out in their mind are Sonic.exe, Midfight Masses, or even the Wednesday Infinity mods. Yes, we went from fighting demons and lemons to dodging needles thrown by Mickey Mouse. All of this wasn't inherently bad at first, it kept the community busy while while the devs were working on the next updates. But besides some intentionally or not leaked songs and concept arts of the next update called Week 8, it still had been more than one year without anything being released. And now all those mods create a big problem. Not only the expectation for Week 8 is drastically increased due to how some mods have songs that basically became classics in the community, even more than actual songs from the base game. It's like no one's talking about MILF or Beboop or Fresh nowadays. Even up to gameplay mechanics that are now almost considered officials, like dodging, attacking, special notes, and even more. Even having your screen being fucked. Also, mods were able to fix one of the main game's problem, with game engines fixing it or improving the input issue. But worst of all, all of that kind of made week 8 almost unnecessary. Yes, you heard me right. The modding community created and improved on so much of the base game during the past years that the only real thing the dev could do, which was just good songs, that's about it. Inputs are already fixed, there's new animation, I mean cutscenes were made in mods, everything, just even mods are able to read into your computer name and shut down your computer, just 
th th there probably won't be anything new or life-changing besides new difficulty settings, cutscenes, and even if it is shooting or dodging mechanics, yeah, it will be different and new compared to the original game, but at this point, it is as if mods already replaced or at least expanded only to a degree that mods feel like an official expansion to it to some degrees. Just look at the tricky mod, Meat Fight Masters back in the days, or even Indie Cross. Just, just look at how popular and reeking of quality they are, to the point that you could ask someone that doesn't know much about the game which one is the original and you will probably struggle to answer you. So in conclusion, I personally think that week 8 is still really needed, but sadly not as a way to add to the game, but to simply advertise it, to lure people back to the game thanks to their amazing songs and upcoming remixes, before they eventually go try out and finish all the best mods out there, and then eventually getting sick of playing the other awful ones while waiting for week 9, that will be out probably by the year 2026, making them completely stop playing the game due to the long wait, and thus quitting it completely, hence repeating the previous cycle again and again. Or maybe week 8 takes a long time because they are actually trying to revamp and remaster everything in it in order to have a, a solid foundation before going back to release updates every month or so, which will actually be the only way to save the game at this point. But meh, only time will tell. So that's basically it, I just try to focus on one single point to keep the video short. The one being that the state of FNF isn't looking so good at the moment and that there is little to no chance that one single official update will save the game due to how badly the friend died in the spam of one year and that all the changes brought by mods will basically undermine the impact of the upcoming new additions of week 8. I'm afraid at this point that the game will basically stay in its current new state of simply being an app for children to play with, despite of course the graphic nature of the game as well as the mature themes surrounding it. That actually could be an interesting theme for another video, hmm, need to think about it. In the meantime, tie to stream some more quality mods oh my god please no week eight please come